I guess this would qualify as an unboxing. It's a pretty youtube -y thing to do. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Welcome back to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. Thanks for watching my video today. If you're new around here, I post a fly fishing video every Monday. Today's Huge Fly Fisherman video is about online discount flies. That's a question that I see a lot, who has the best cheap flies online? And I don't know the answer because I've only ordered from the bigger companies out there. So this is new for me. We're gonna find out together who has the best flies. Also, I gotta support the guys out there in the trenches and say that you should should go to a fly shop for your flies if you can. You're gonna get good flies, good advice, and maybe a beer from the fridge. This video is also on my other channel at special.tv where I'm giving away a $25 gift card to whoever's flies I think are best. That's just one of the things we do over there at Special. So we're gonna open all these boxes up and check out the flies, and I'm gonna judge everything based on my shopping experience, the price of the flies, and the quality of the flies. To judge the quality of the flies, I'm gonna look at the proportions of the fly, how well it is tied, and we'll test its durability by giving it a twist test. The materials shouldn't spin around the hook. I went back and forth about what flies to get for this, and I decided on two basic trout flies that are easy to tie. I ordered six elk hair caddis and six beadhead flashback pheasant tails from each company, all in size 14. If you like this kind of video, let me know and maybe we'll do one of these with like streamers or something. All right, now let's get this started. Now, before I open anything, I'm sure that every fly in these boxes will catch a fish. I'm sure they're all gonna be fine. I'm gonna get really nitpicky with my judgments here. Shocker. All right, let's get started here. We'll start with Big Y Fly Co. I can say that they have good brand recognition because for me, when I think of online discount flies, Big Y is the first thing that pops into my head, even though I've never ordered online flies. So good job marketing there. They're from Hood River, Oregon. Fun fact, I lived there for two months a long time ago. Hooked two steelhead, landed none. One of them jumped. So one thing I will say about my shopping experience with Big Y is that their search function is whack. I looked up elk hair caddis and an actual elk hair caddis was like six items down. So there goes your point that you already had for marketing. Dozen flies from Big Y was $13.65, which was the lowest price out of all of these companies. Got a receipt with uh, basically a printout of their webpage. All right, so let's look at the flies. We'll start with the caddis. All right, it's fine. There's some dried head cement around the hair fibers in the head. The eye looks to be clear. Hackle is all a uniform size and it's the right size. Looks like enough hair. It's fine. It's a fine fly. The head's a little sloppy, you know, but who cares? That wing might actually be a tiny bit short and some of the hair tips are not exactly even. There's something funky going on with the wing. Okay, beadhead flashback pheasant tail. What you got here? Uh, it's fine. Is that a 14? It looks a little small. Yeah, that's a 14. Looks good. Some of the flies, the ribbing is inconsistent. Like I've got one with a lot of ribs and one with few. Hang on, I gotta let the dog in. Other than the ribbing, everything's pretty consistent. Let's do a twist test, which I forgot to do on the caddis. Yeah, it's fine. And actually, I forgot to look at the consistency between all the flies in the, in the caddis as well. Let's do a twist test. It's moving around. Hey, I have a hard time with that too sometimes. For the caddis, consistently, they all have a consistently sloppy head. Not awfully sloppy, but I mean, the fish aren't paying attention to that, but it's nice to have them look nice, you know? Okay, so minor flaws overall, definitely will catch fish. Let's move on to the Fly Shack from Gloversville, New York. Their website is fine, it works. It's a little bit old looking like Big Wise, but who cares, it works. These flies were $15.68, got a sticker, and they come in a little cardboard box. This box is trash, dudes. Like, it's falling apart. 
and it's overly complicated. Your little dividers did not divide the flies, and yeah, just save your money, you don't need that part. Okay, elk hair caddis first. Let's check it out. So I ordered gray elk hair caddis, and the big Y flies had a brown hackle, which is kind of what I was expecting. These have like a done or almost cream hackle. I don't remember if that's what's on the website or not. There's not enough hair in these wings. It's too sparse. They're very inconsistent, both the wing and the head. Probably can't see that. I'll splice in a better picture. Yeah, dude, these are not as good as the Big Y's at all. Not that Big Y is the benchmark, we don't know yet. Yeah, the wings are totally different colors too. Wow, there's one that's really dark and one that's really light. Okay, pretty inconsistent and not that great. All right, oh, twist test. I know what's gonna happen here. Yeah, it's actually relatively tight, so there you go. You get at point. All right, bead head, flashback, pheasant tail. Uh, again, inconsistent from fly to fly. Some are fat and some are skinny. Are these even ribbed? Dude, I don't think these bodies are even ribbed. Not that it matters all that much with the fish catching, but they'll fall apart much quicker. The ribbing for me is more structural than anything. Huh, all right, that's a pretty big negative point. Yeah, these are pretty inconsistent. Some of the, the legs are too long. This one has long legs on one side, and the, the fly's all twisted over. And I just twisted it back into shape, so there's our twist test. I can move it around. Okay, so the fly shack, not real impressed. Hey, 15 bucks? Yeah, sure, whatever. Beats tying them. All right, next is discount flies from Castle Rock, Colorado. So full disclosure, this one might be rigged. I placed the orders under my name and someone from Discount Flies actually called me to see if this order was for the huge fly fisherman. We had a nice conversation. I told them what I was doing. So if they're smart, they cherry picked some flies for this box, which is what I would do. Their website is nicer than the others we've done so far, just visually, and it's easier to use. And I think it has better photos of the flies. These flies were $23.29. That's 10 bucks more than Big Y. Let's see if they're worth it. Got a bonus sticker. Always love that. Let's start with the El Caricatus. Already I can tell these look great. Right off the bat, they're tied well, but one thing I noticed is they're definitely bigger than the other flies I've been looking at so far. Let's grab one and compare. So these are both supposed to be size 14. This is Big Y. This is discount flies. Yeah, they're bigger than the others. All right, well, I don't really know what to think about that. Twist test, fine. These are great looking flies. They're very consistent. The quality of the hair is, is great. Post-production Ben here. Something that I noticed is that the bodies on these flies should not be tapered like they are. An elk hair caddis should have a body shaped like a cigar or a sausage. It should not be tapered. Minus one point. This one might be a little sparse in the wing, but it's, it's fine. The heads are nice and neat. Yeah, good job hand selecting some flies for me. <laughs> yep, says size 14 right there. Oh, they're even labeled. Actually, that is nice. If you're ordering a bunch of stuff and you don't remember what you ordered, these are all labeled individually. The others were not. All right, beadhead, flashback, pheasant tail, nymph. These are great. Added bonus, they have flash running along the abdomen, along the, the top of the abdomen. The other flies did not have that. They are ribbed as they're supposed to be. Can't believe those one flies weren't ribbed, dude. That's pretty weak. These are great flies. They're very consistent. I like the proportions. They have smaller legs where you use the, the tips of the, of the pheasant tail fibers as legs, but I like them. They look good. Yeah, nice. Well, these were 10 bucks more than some of the others and they're definitely better. Will the other ones catch fish? Absolutely. But these just look nicer and they're much more consistently tied. Okay, good job discount. Okay, next is the Fly Stop in San Diego. Or that's where the box is from anyway. They also have a nice website. It's just more modern and contemporary than the first two. In the box, we've got a business card. Don't need that, that's useless. Receipt for my records so I can write it off. Seems like a lot of paperwork, but whatever. These flies were $18.21, so second highest. Let's check them out. We'll do the El Caricatus first. Again, they're all like, they all have different colored wings. Like these are a real tan wing. The last ones were kind of gray. And if that's consistent with what's displayed on the website, 
I, I don't know, I might cross-reference that. I kind of doubt it. So these look good. They're the same size-ish hook as the first two. I, the, something about the discount flies, the, the hook just seemed big. These are more like a size 14. Let's do a twist test. It's fine. These are consistent. The heads are in nice shape. The hackle is nice and even and the correct size. Again, it's a different color. This is a Dunn or a gray. We've had four different color hackles and four different color wings, I think. The only consistency was gray body, which is all I really expect when I'm ordering a gray elk hair caddis. I, that should refer to the body more than anything. Wing size is pretty consistent. The quality of the hair is good. Good job. Who is this? The fly. Stop. Okay, let's go to the pheasant tails. Ew. They're black. Is that what I ordered? Okay, yeah, I did order black ones. I remember that now. They were out of size 14 beadhead flashback pheasant tails in a natural color, which is maybe a minus point right there. That's a pretty staple fly. You should have that one in stock. These flies are all tied too far back into the bend. <laughs> a consistent flaw. So when you tie it too far back in the bend, it pushes the tail down. I mean, is it like that big of a deal? No, it gives the fly a little curve. This isn't a flashback either. Oh man. That might have been my mistake. There's no flashback. That's okay, we can still check them out. These are not as nice as the Elk Hair Caddis from the same company. They are okay though. A little inconsistent with the thickness of the body and the proportions of things. The tails not only are tied too far back in the bend, but they're a little long and this one probably has too many fibers. And those fibers are not even at all. So not as nice. Oh, let's do the twist test. Oh no, fail twist test. All right. These were not as good as your dry flies, which is kind of surprising. You'd think it'd be the other way. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I think I have made final judgments. Oh, hey, Rudy's here. Hey, buddy. Which ones do you like? All right, get out of here. You know, I forgot to mention earlier that there are plenty of other places to buy flies online. These are just four that I picked. So, so going from worst to best, coming in fourth place, I could say last place, because it is last place, is the Fly Shack. Inconsistent, poorly tied flies, bad packaging, and no ribbing on the abdomen of the pheasant tails. Ouch. Third place, we have Big Y. They're just, you know, like, seven out of 10 flies overall. Elk hair caddis are a little bit sloppy. Pheasant tails aren't too bad, a little inconsistent. These were the cheapest though, remember that. The Fly Shack, who, who I think has the worst flies, were not the cheapest. Coming in second place is the Fly Stop. They had pretty good flies, minus points for not having the availability that I wanted on some pretty basic flies. Good dry flies, not so great on the nymphs, and they were second most expensive. And coming in the winner. Now, you know, I think I'm calling these the winner mostly because they have the nicest flies. If you're gonna factor in the price, that's your call, man. You know, these were 10 bucks more, but still 20, almost $24 for a dozen good flies. And that's a good deal anywhere. Any of these flies are a good deal anywhere, even the crappy ones. So I'm not gonna really judge too much of my final decision on value as much as maybe I thought I would. I just like these flies, they're they're nice flies. So again, maybe discount cherry picked a little bit because they knew where these flies were going, but uh, whatever, next time I'll do it anonymously. That'll catch fish. Okay, so there's my assessment. This is just four companies. There are plenty of other places you can buy flies online, but this is a good place to start to kind of feel out the market out there. So I think that's gonna do it. Thank you for watching another one of my huge fly fisherman videos. I'll be back as soon as I can with another video about fly fishing for you. Until then, go catch a fish and stay huge. I'm not actually going to drink this beer right now. It's 8.30 in the morning. I got stuff to do.